We've been talking about different types of stars, and we've covered single stars, which are a little bit boring in this case, uh, binary stars, and now we can talk about red giants and white dwarfs. So let's talk quickly about red giants. What are those? Well, a red giant is a star that's actually extremely large. Duh, that's why it's called giant. So it's an extremely large star. Yes, it does appear red. That's actually why they're called that. Um, they have high luminosity, so they're actually very bright. So high luminosity. And we could say that they have, they have relatively low mass. We're going to talk more about these uh, later on, but just for the rate for the moment, uh, because they're red, that means they're relatively cool. Cool as in not warm. And actually, I'm going to write this. Um, they, so red giants. are the result of most main sequence stars. In other words, most main sequence stars will pass through a red giant phase. In other words, so they pass through this phase. Now, this is not the end Right, but a lot of stars, at least, they pass through this phase. So the result of the most of most main sequence stars, they actually reach this phase, this red giant phase. But of course, we can have another type of star. We have this white dwarf. So those are small stars. Um, these have a low luminosity. Okay, so they're not terribly bright. Well, it all depends on how close they are, I suppose. But they're not very luminous, how's that? Um, the white color implies that they're quite hot. Well, they're relatively hot, at least. And actually, that's probably good enough. But what I wanted to say then is this, though, that um, dying stars that's what white dwarfs are. Okay? They're actually they're dying stars, and they're the result of uh, most, mm, let's say, most medium to small stars after um, the red giant phase. So what's going to happen is most medium to small stars are going to pass through this red giant phase, and when they're done that, they're going to become a white dwarf. That means it's small, it's low luminosity, it's a white color means it's hot, but it means that they're dying. So this is the sort of this is the end stage. That's what a white dwarf is. The white dwarf is sort of the end stage of most medium to small stars. So that's what this will be. Of course, in the next video, I'm going to show you something about the HR diagram or the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. And that's going to tell us lots of things because it's going to plot all this information that we've been learning about uh, just recently. So things about, for example, um, luminosity and spectral class and the temperature and the color and the type of star. They're all actually plotted in a really clever uh, plot called the HR diagram or Hertzsprung-Russell diagram.